Hey guys, I'm Rich from Nail In. Today we're unboxing the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 7. So, everywhere else in the world, it's called the Yoga Slim 7. That's a common thing with Lenovo. The international branding for all premium PCs is Yoga, and it used to be IdeaPad. In the United States, it's still Idea, and that, that's for clamshells, by the way. Now, Slim 7 is the successor to the S740. It's um, the, this is another thing that Lenovo changed up all its branding this year, and this is I'd say mostly about ThinkPads because they ran out of numbers where it was you know like the T480, T490, and then what comes after 90. Um, but they did it for the whole lineup. So instead, like they did uh, S720, S730. No, well I think it was just the 720. They've changed their branding a lot <laughs> over the last couple of years. But anyway. You know, now it's just being called the 7. So, and then there's the, the Intel flavored ones are called the 7i, which is really interesting to me because Intel is the variant. I don't think we've ever seen it where where Intel is the, you know, not the, the, the normal one. So let's get this open. This was actually sent to me by AMD. Now, I, I have... I review a lot of Lenovo laptops, as you probably know, but those all come from Lenovo. This one is coming from AMD. See the charger we got in here? I bet it's a 65 watt USB Type-C charger. 65 watt USB Type-C. It's a new design, by the way. It's yeah, it's it's curved. Like the the old ones that we've seen from Lenovo are um, rectangular like a, a rectangular brick. So you can see that they put a little more thought into the design of the charger and it looks a little bit prettier, which is always nice. Now let's get this open. This thing should have an AMD Ryzen uh, 7 4800U. Now, that's exciting to me because I, I get excited about things I haven't tried yet. Now. <laughs> I've, I've reviewed the uh, Ryzen 5 4500U, which is a hexacore uh, CPU with six threads. Now, the thing about Intel processors is that all Intel mobile processors are hyper-threaded. So you get a quad-core processor that has eight threads. This has been a thing for a while because, remember, up until just a couple years ago, the best you could do in a laptop was dual core. Just a couple years ago. That was the best that Intel, the best anybody could do in a laptop, at least an Ultrabook. And and the U-Series was all dual core. So so just kind of to get more out of that into that hyper-threading, and that, that would give you four threads, which is like four virtual cores instead of just two. And so um, Intel is still the, like the best they could do on um, an Ultrabook form factor is six cores with Comet Lake that has 12 threads, but then everything else is just quad core. You know, that like the Ice Lake Core i7, quad core, the other Comet Lake Core i7, quad core, all Core i5s, quad core. Now, um, AMD jacked it up because in that, like in that, in that Ryzen 5 that I just mentioned, six cores. In the Ryzen 7, eight cores. You know, eight cores is way more than what Intel's doing. And what was interesting to me about that Ryzen 5 that I reviewed is that when I ran the benchmarks and then I started, you know, like I, I didn't compare it to anything else until I wrote the review. And I, I started putting them side by side. And I, I, th I think I, I did Ryzen 5. I did um, probably just, a, a, no, I did, an, I did an Ice Lake i5 because the Ryzen 5 should be comparable to an i5, right? Uh, I did a Comet Lake i5. I did an Ice Lake i7. I did a Comet Lake i7, and I put them all next to each other. And out of the four benchmarks that I ran, the Ryzen 5 was the best in two of them, which was really impressive. Remember, I was comparing them to, to the two most modern Core i7s as well. And then the Ice Lake i7 barely inched it out on two of them. So that was really interesting to me because if Ryzen 5 matches or exceeds uh, um, the best of what Intel has then what does a Ryzen 7 do? You know what I mean? So so I've, I've actually gotten a few Ryzen 7s since then, and they're really impressive. Now, this one, um, like th this is the other thing I was going to say. Remember I said it has six cores and six threads in that Ryzen 5 um, 4500U. 
They also have ones that have AMD's flavor of hyper-threading. So that would be the 4600U, which has six cores and 12 threads. And then if you get the Ryzen 7 4700U, eight cores and eight threads, and then the Ryzen 7 4800U, which is what we've gotten here, eight cores, 16 threads. Let's open this up. This is supposed to be a very pretty laptop. It comes in colors, but we still have to, we still have another barrier. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's take a look. It should be, oh, it did, they didn't send me the pretty color that's that's in all the, the pictures that they they sent. I am so disappointed right now because all the pictures in the reviewer's guide that they sent were like this maroon color. And I'm like, finally, so a, a laptop that's just kind of pretty and like, it reminded me of the Surface laptop and, and just like actual nice colors that so many companies neglect to do on, on laptops. Like HP is really good with design. Um, Dell's getting there, at least on their premium. But I, I mean, Lenovo, like, like, it's just gray. I hate this color and I've always hated it. I've always said that when I review Lenovo PCs, I, like just that, that very bland gray look. All right, here it is. It's just got that Lenovo branding over in the corner there. We, we would have yoga branding, but they are not calling this yoga in the United States. So we don't get that branding. Now, on the side we have ports, USB Type-C, two of them. They're not Thunderbolt because this is an AMD machine uh, that just doesn't happen. 3.5 millimeter audio jack, HDMI. Let's see what we got on the other side. Two USB Type-A ports and micro SD, which is, you know, fine. Um, like I said, no Thunderbolt. That's fine for most people. Um, I, I, if I said you couldn't do it on an AMD PC, a lot of people would remind me that you can, but, um, I've just, I've, I've still just never seen it. So, you know, I, I, it just seems like you could do it in theory. All right. On the inside here, you have the pretty standard keyboard. If you've ever used a yoga or an idea pad before, this is Lenovo's, uh, consumer, consumer keyboard. They're all, they're all pretty similar and they're all pretty good. I, I quite like it. And I, I but it's 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 a little shallower. One thing you'll notice is that it's very it's it's completely flush with the with the body, which is cool. It it's just kind of unnecessary. But it's <laughs> that's that's something you don't see all the time. But but it's it's there. Um, Dolby Atmos speakers right next to the keyboard there. That's always nice. So you get a nice premium audio experience. I won't criticize it for not having speakers on the bottom because honestly, you don't need them on, on a clamshell. Remember, this thing only goes back to 180 degrees. This is not a 360 degree clamshell. Otherwise, it wouldn't be called IdeaPad. It would be called, um, I don't know, Flex. I don't know. That, that Like Lenovo has a US brand for that or something. It's just not um, like that. They have the, like Yoga is the brand, what it's supposed to be. It's funny. I actually just had to change the the default wallpaper, which is always fun because Lenovo PCs do this really annoying thing where they'll, they'll, you'll set up a new PC and it comes with the stock wallpaper and then that stock wallpaper syncs to all your existing PCs. And it's really annoying because what you would think is that the wallpaper you have synced for your existing PCs would just come down to the new PC, but no, no, that's not how it works. With Lenovo PCs, that stock wallpaper goes to your PC and then you have to go and set it again and sometimes it fights you on it. Very annoying. I actually just had to change it because I set up another Lenovo PC the other day and that one came to, like, it's too cancerous wallpapers fighting against each other. It's amazing. Anyway, um, so Lenovo packs a bunch of sensors into the the, the little reverse notch up here. The, the reverse notch made, made a debut on um, the S940, and it's, it's become a design standard for Lenovo, but in the good ones, they're actually putting sensors up there so like it can tell if you're if you're looking at it, if you're sitting in front of your PC, stuff like that. It, it, they're calling it AI features. And then of course you got an IR camera up there, webcam, stuff like that. So, but it but 
you know, in some PCs, like for instance, you, you'll see that on their gaming laptops as well. Just that notch. It just, but on the gaming laptops, all it means is just, it's just a design thing. It's Lenovo's design thing. You'll see it says seven series at the top. You know, um, for, on the S9 940, it said uh, nine series, of course. And I, I believe if it was Yoga, it would say Yoga seven series. But that's neither here nor there because this is not officially a Yoga. Uh, this has a full HD display. You know, 1080p regular, probably touchscreen. Not touchscreen, interestingly enough. Let's just take a look at these these specs. Oh, McAfee antivirus. I got to make sure to uninstall that because that's something that nobody wants. Like I said, Ryzen 7 4800U, which is probably probably the best 15 watt processor on the market right now. 16 gigs of RAM storage. I'm guessing 512. That's the common configuration. Yeah, 512. Um, and then the display. Let's check that out. That's going to be yeah, 1080p. Turn down that scaling while we're here, you know, because that's how I roll. Uh, but yeah, McAfee's there. You want to get rid of that. Any antivirus, by the way, Glance by Metrics is the uh, the thing that that works with all these sensors on top. See what it says. Uh, Glance uses your attention to make your mouse and keyboard smarter. If we explore it, customize Glance and settings. See what Glance sees. Um, yeah, the color would be gray if you disable Glance by... Yeah, this is basic stuff. Uh, snap windows from screen to screen. This is an interesting one. And I don't know about that. It's just... Honestly, if I'm looking away from the window... I mean, I'm going to try this out because cause this is the way I review laptops. Is I, I, I plug them into multiple monitors. So, so just kind of moving it like that would be... Interesting. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know if I would want that though, because I mean, I, I feel like you would just look at another screen naturally. Displays you are not paying attention. The screen will blur. Oh, that's right. Okay, so that's why I kept blurring while while. Okay. So if I look away, I, yeah, that okay. Now if I look back, it's it's back. See, but yeah, the, you notice it's still. Because my eyes just wander, and then it goes and tries to blur my screen. I, I don't, I don't think I care for this, but but I don't know. I, I it's it's one of those things. We'll see. We'll see. All right. What else we got? We got like I said, Lenovo Vantage. That's what you use to um, update all your drivers and such. Um, and like I said, McAfee's in there, which we'll we'll get rid of as soon as I finish this video. And that's about it. Not much in the way of, of bloatware on this PC. Update. Looks like this is actually a 25 watt CPU according to the spec sheet that AMD sent me, which is, is interesting. So there should be a lot of power under the hood here, which is pretty cool. I am dis disappointed that they sent me this gray color. Like all the pictures in the reviewer's guide were of this beautiful burgundy colored model. And it was just... Um, it's like, like, if you put that color in the reviewer's guide, you know it's the prettier one. And we're going to be taking pictures of it. Like, wouldn't you... It's also like I review so many Lenovo consumer laptops, and I've seen this color across my desk, like, dozens of times. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like the same thing over and over with, with the designs of some of these laptops, you know. But, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm excited. AMD Ryzen 4000 is killing it. You know, and, and the best example of that that I can provide is is when I reviewed that Ryzen 5 and I found that it's more comparable to an i7 than an i5. But also, I mean, AMD's at 7 nanometers now. Just like the rest of the market. Um, TSMC, Apple, Qualcomm, Samsung, everybody. They're, they're, they're at 7 nanometers now. Intel is not. Intel is this, can't get down to seven nanometers, and that's that's. And by the way, you know, if you want to talk about the real seven nanometers or whatever, Intel can't get down to seven nanometers, and so um, they can barely get down to ten. Ice Lake is ten nanometers. 
Ice Lake comes in U series, which is 15 watts, and Y series, which is I, I think is nine watts. And I don't think I've actually seen uh, Ice Lake Y ship at all I, I, in a product. But anyway, uh, or maybe in MacBook Air, uh, it's possible. But anyway, Ice Lake Y, Ice Lake U. That's it. And so the, the, like they could barely do it. They couldn't make enough of them. So that's why they did Comet Lake U. Comet Lake U is also the only business variant. So if you go V Pro, any business laptop has to be Comet Lake because it's the only V Pro variant. Um, H Series, Comet Lake. Desktop, Comet Lake. So that's all 14 nanometers still. And so going into 11th gen, they're still going to be on 10th gen, uh, uh, 10 nanometers with... Hopefully an expanded lineup with Tiger Lake. I, I, I don't really know. We'll, we'll see because that's coming in September. But the point is that, that AMD is just miles ahead right now. And, and it seems like they're going to stay ahead for a while because Intel has already delayed 7 nanometers. Like, like Intel's 10 nanometers was supposed to arrive in like 2015, 2016. And it just didn't. Like They kept delaying it for years, like a few years. So... Now 7 nanometers is already delayed from Intel and AMD is already there so they're crushing it and and the performance is crushing it too so uh, that's that's pretty cool so that's it guys I'll have a review in a few weeks I'm Richard Neowin have a great night